Hello, in this video we will understand about the physiology of magnesium. So let's begin to understand the all physiology and their function of the magnesium like a calcium. So magnesium is the intracellular cation, remember, in the cell. So magnesium is a cofactor in numerous enzymatic activity. So it's, feel, uh, it's fulfill various intracellular function. After potassium, magnesium is the second cation in intracellular, uh, intracellular uh, space. Not extra but intracellular. But the sodium is just like an extracellular cation. So uh, the uh, magnesium is eighth most common element in the earth crust and the diet contains the magnesium and we need the magnesium. Let's understand about the introduction now. The chlorophyll contains magnesium for photosynthesis so the green vegetables contain a lot of magnesium and the other green fruits. Let's understand about the introduction. Basically, the 0.4 gram per kg is the uh, 0.4 uh, gram per kg is the magnesium ratio, and the total content of magnesium is reported to be equal 20 millimole per kg of fat-free tissue. 99% in bone, mus bone, muscle, and non-muscular soft tissue contain 99% magnesium. 50 to 60 percent resides as surface substituent of the uh, hydroxyapatite, a mineral compound of bones in the bone. So, in this uh, manner, so the bones contain the hydroxyapatite mineral component. Basically, the fat contain less uh, magnesium, the white fat, not brown fat, but the magnesium will high in the uh, fat free tissue and the mitochondria contain enzyme which that is the cofactor is the magnesium used for increase the ATP production so in this way the survival of the mitochondria is due to the magnesium is too much important while the calcium work antagonistically will inhibit in this way the calcium will lead to apoptosis while the magnesium will lead to survive the mitochondria in this way the cell will survive the structural homeostasis of mitochondria to survive cell due to the magnesium within the cell. So anyhow, the result of the magnesium increase in the cell will lead to counter ion for the energy rich ATP and nuclear acids. Cofactor in more than 300 enzymatic reaction uh, is used for the stabilizes enzymes, ATP generating reactions and in this way the glucose metabolize convert into the ATP in this way the ATP will increase and the glucose utilization will increase this is the blood circulatory system whenever you will eat food contain magnesium the glucose will enter into the blood circulatory system as well as magnesium but forget about the magnesium absorb absor absorption we will understand about the physiology of magnesium just first this is the pancreas the glucose rise is known as the hyperglycemia the glucose move through glut 2 channel of the beta cell of pancreas will lead to increase the atp and in this way the calcium will rise and in this way the magnesium is important for uh, increase the atp and in this way the atp will increase will lead to synthesis of more and more vesicle insulin vesicle in this way the calcium will outflux of the vesicle and is in this way the exocytosis will occur and this uh, beta cell will pour the insulin into the blood circulatory system and this glucose will uh, insulin receptor bind with the insulin will lead to different tissue to the glucose move inside through GLUT4 channel and in this way the uh, glucose will convert into the ATP via a magnesium stimulation. So the magnesium induced ATP is so much important for the aerobic respiration. When ATP will increase the magnesium due to the magnesium dependent, the fat synthesis and muscle contraction and methyl group 
transfer can increase and the protein uh, protein uh, synthesis the protein proteogenesis and the nucleic acid and coenzyme synthesis will increase while on the other hand, the neurotransmitters vesicle will increase and the neurotransmitter uh, uh, exocytosis will increase. Neurological function and ATP metabolism and bone formation. And vascular tone will increase. Heart rhythm and platelet active activation will increase. Let's understand about the uh, function of the insulin modulation and secretion and other many more things like when calcium will move inside and potassium will trigger the ATP generation more and due to the glucose influx and in this way the magnesium is uh, important for the move back and the calcium into the endoplasmic reticulum for muscle contraction to relaxation so the after relaxation of the muscle the magnesium is important for the calcium back into the endoplasmic reticulum the reuptake, reuptake by the calcium activated uh, ATPase of the sarcoplasmic reticulum is very important. In this way, the normal homeostasis, the normal metabolism, and normal muscle contraction as well as the ex, uh, excretion of the content will be important due to the magnesium. So the exchange of magnesium extracellular matrix to intracellular matrix requires three to four hours. So non-exchangeable or exchangeable slowly, but the biological half-life is the 1000 hours. So in this way, the magnesium requirement is less than the potassium in our diet because the magnesium contain a lot in more in vegetables. Dietary intake is 370 mg uh, per day when we will uh, uh, consume. This will lead to enter into the stomach. When enter into the stomach, the bolus will go into the chyme and absorption of the magnesium will occur into the, into the blood circulatory system. While the waste 200, 270 mg per day will be excreted in the form of feces. Anyhow, by this mechanism, the magnesium will be deposited into the several tissue like the bone 50 to 60 percent, muscle 25 to 30 percent, and the storage in different organ is uh, 24,000 milligram total, and 20 to 25 percent in, in other organs. Anyhow, this can be metabolized and the, uh, move back into the blood circulatory system is not easy. So the net intake, for example, 100 milligram per day when we will consume. So it is important because the storage should be the important and the 100 milligram per day is important. Why? Because the excretion through urinary system will be 100 milligram per day. But you should increase the ratio for example the 100 milligram uh, not should be but should be uh, uh, 150 milligram let's understand about the alter altered the function of deficiency so the decrease glycolysis due to the deficiency of magnesium and increase the gluconeogenesis. In this way, the increase of the glucose will lead to cause many, many problems like type 2 diabetes mellitus. Srab P1C activation of gene and increase free fatty acid synthesis and the cholesterol. In this, the hypercholesteremia can occur and the hyperlipidemia. The insulin deficiency increase and increase the cortisol synthesis will lead to sympathetic nervous system activation, endoplasmic reticulum alteration and the increased reactive oxygen species formation will lead to inflammation and immune system activation. The normal magnesium is very important for protein synthesis, glucose 6-phosphatase enzyme function will lead to glucose metabolism in the glycolysis, calcium uptake and the nerve impulse is important, cytochrome P450 to E1 gene activation and the glucuronidation. Glucuronidation means the metabolism and the protein synthesis and the glucose metabolism. Utilization of glucose by magnesium will lead to hypoglycemia and low insulin level. The prevention of the type 2 diabetes. 
important thing is that the increase of the magnesium and decrease of the magnesium is not too much good so that is why the balance is very important with a balanced diet contain a uh, 100 mg uh, uh, per day